Okay. Hello, good morning, all the human beings of the world. I hope everybody is doing fine. Uh, we are just uh, uh, 10 here, yeah, 11.25, says Manan Sone. I like how those are the two options. Schedule for 11.25? Why the hell is this schedule for 11.25? Uh, what is happening, man? Sorry about that. Um, it's 10 a.m. I don't know why this changed randomly to 10, 11, 25. I don't know why that would happen. Uh, but I hope everybody's doing well. We are live now. So this is the time to be live, friends. Uh, I don't know why this is randomly showing 11, 25 for some absurd reason. Uh, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm very excited about today's show. I have woken up earlier than usual. Actually, I wake up at this time, but right now I have to, I've just dumped my, my son on a class. So uh, it's very exciting times. Good morning to Pranmoy Saha and uh, Aparjita says 10 a.m. Good morning to you as well. Uh, I will bring on my guests very shortly. Just a couple of things to say before I uh, bring them on. Uh, first of all, I have to give a big thanks. I, I did a couple of shows right now in uh, uh, Delhi, Gurgaon, Chandigarh. And I met one of my YouTube members, uh, this guy called Rajat Shah. Uh, super guy, nice guy. Treated me to alcoholic beverages, which is always exciting. And him and Kostov Bhalerao have to give big thanks. Uh, they bought me a whiskey as a gift and I don't even drink whiskey. But uh, I will start just because of them. So very nice of them. And by the way, I checked the price of that whiskey and it is more than how much I made in my shows in Delhi and Gurgaon. <laughs> so next time, just give me cash. <laughs> no, I just want to give a big thanks, man. Thanks a lot to Rajat and uh, Kostov. I'm uh, very happy to receive any kind of... Uh, Gifts from any people. Uh, I am not one of those people who will say, nahi, nahi, aisa to mat nahi I will just say, Dena. So uh, it's very nice of you. I feel very, uh, uh, very uh, happy in life that you give it to me. Prathamesh Naikwade says early OP. It's not early OP technically. It's just uh, 10 a.m. was the scheduled time. I should have actually said it in the previous uh, one that uh, that's the case. Uh, Abhilash Motan says, let's go stupid babies. Yeah, very nice. Uh, all the people watching, please uh, give a like so that more people start uh, joining in. Uh, the numbers are just about 200 right now. Let's get it up to a thousand, which is easily conceivable in life. Uh, Rohan cases, Rick Chacha and Corbin Mamu. Rick Chacha and Corbin Mamu will be joining shortly. Uh, Aditya says, uh, daylight savings time. Absolutely correct. A uh, couple of things to announce. I have a bunch of shows coming up uh, this week. Uh, so please come. Uh, a lot of you asked for uh, new cities. I've added those cities as well. Uh, on Wait, in Mumbai, I'm doing a show on 18th March at um, IBC, which is the Independence Brewing Company in Andheri West. Very small show, so get your tickets now. I think it should be sold out by like tomorrow morning or something like that. Uh, so tickets will for that are separately on Book My Show. And then on 20th, which is this Saturday, uh, I'm doing two shows at Spade Comedy Club in Pune. I will also be joined by Sonali Thakkar, who's been killing it. And she's been touring for me everywhere. She's been killing it everywhere. Uh, so uh, we're doing a recording there as well. So come support the recording. Maybe one more friend of mine might join and I'm not sure. Uh, so that's happening at Spade Comedy Club. Uh, tickets are on saurabhpanth.com. And uh, same uh, on 27th of March, which is next Saturday, uh, I'm doing a recording at uh, Habitat, uh, which will 100% get sold out. So please get your tickets now. This is 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. show. Uh, I'll be joined by Angad Singh Ranial, Sonali Thakkar and Ronak Rajani as well. So that's going to be a really nice lineup show and the tickets are cheaper than most of the Mumbai shows. So get it now. And also Hyderabad is on. So we're doing two shows in Hyderabad on 4th of April. That's Sunday. Um, that's again with social distancing, the seating is restricted. So get your tickets quickly, friends. Uh, tickets for all of these are on saurabhpan.com. That is all I have to tell you as human beings. Uh, last thing I will tell you though, is that, uh, please go and subscribe to my second channel because, uh, I, as I've said, I'm going to be shifting a lot of these lives to that other channel. And, uh, here's a channel right here. Uh, just go do it. Just go subscribe. There might be a few lives there. Ishu Kumar says, how was Chandigarh show brother? Chandigarh is always an interesting show is uh, what I'll tell you. Like, uh, there were at least eight people who were visibly drunk. Like, bahut daru pe ke the log. like they were the front row, which is next to the, like the toilet is close to it. Each of them got up individually one by one to go do Susu. And after a point, I'm like, just do it here. No, to quote Biswa. Um, so yeah, it was, it was quite crazy. Uh, anyway, uh, give a like so that more people join numbers are increasing slowly. Uh, Manak Paul says, sir, COB all-stars mein aayenge kya? Yeah, all-stars un log ke liye, jinnohne matlab is chess mein thoda achcha kiya life mein. 
मैंने बिल्कुल अच्छा नहीं किया तो आई डाउट देर इवन आई डाउट आई शुड इवन बी अप्रोच फॉर इट so yeah uh, cool i'm going to introduce my guest for today uh, please buy tickets for the shows as well it's been a, i've really been enjoying a lot of fun uh, vishal says hyderabad kab aa rahe ho abhi to bola bhai sahab 4th april sunday block 22 club hyderabad uh, tickets on saurabhpant.com cool i won't keep them uh, waiting because i know they have a lot of things to do uh, uh, i'm going to introduce both of them at the same time and bring them on oh, i think i might bring one of them first because he's already here uh they have uh, reaction videos uh, largely around indian pop culture and other things as well a uh, lot of uh, i think they've seen more content than i have <laughs> about specifically indian regional cinema uh, etc uh, the channel is ask stupid reactions you can go check it out if you haven't uh, if you're watching this later you can pause this go check it out and then join in on the conversation uh, if you've not seen the show before the way it works is that i will take questions from you guys as well in the middle Uh, and keep it seamless and priority will be given to uh, super chats so super chat pe puch lo i will ask i will ask all the questions uh, so please give first of all a round of applause for one half of uh, our stupid reactions corbin miles everybody give it up for corbin come on corbin show yourself show your face corbin hello corbin hello <laughs> how are uh, you rick you're live uh, rick uh, i just uh, you're live as well rick is uh, hi rick rick wake now up now i can hear you Yeah, 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 no, I, you were <laughs> hey, in the waiting. I was, I was giving an introduction. So yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries. And oh, great! Now I got to look at him. Yeah. Oh, there you go. You saw hey, it. Put your coat well on, Rick. Put your, put your coat rack away, Rick. No, oh, no. God, what Just are you doing? Do that. There we go. How's what that? is this? This, this is a professional setting, Rick. So I need not to with you in it. Please calm oh, yeah. down oh, and yeah. just. Uh, <laughs> it's morning where you are, but it is late night here. <laughs> Listen, if I knew, I, oh my God, you guys have the same whiskey. This, <laughs> the commitment. <laughs> That's just water we can see. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> How are you? Uh, me? How are you doing, man? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm good, man. I'm good. I just came back from shows, and I'm uh, in a very happy uh, space because uh, uh, nothing gives more pleasure than getting on stage, even if it's like uh, yesterday was a very nice, interesting drunk show I had, and I was in a place called Chandigarh, and. Um, Uh, i told everybody that hey listen we can't do selfies because it's a uh, it's covid times and i know that people yeah. have been getting covid because of meet and greets so i took yeah. a selfie with the crowd and one guy literally is breathing in my ear and like, you didn't take with me and i'm like dude just one second <laughs> i don't think you understand what i'm trying to do here what about wow. you guys how are you guys doing yeah what's happening uh we are doing <laughs> wonderful incredibly busy this week um but it's uh we're we're doing well doing well it's just it's night time over here so that's why we're having the uh the old alcohol here but also the morning is a good time for alcohol do you like alcohol oh my god <laughs> listen let's <laughs> talk about this <laughs> i have been drinking so much since this pandemic started <laughs> <It's not> even... <laughs> like it's, it's gone through the pandemic yeah Sorry? yeah Would you say, Rick? I said it helps you get through the pandemic. Uh huh. What about you, Rick? Are you uh, are you a fan of the uh, the old uh, boozoids? Old monk. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we actually, yeah. very, we actually yeah. sincerely, we actually, Jame, Jameson on the rocks is a great go-to. Uh, mm -hmm. And then I love red wine, and I love dark beers. And I love oh, Corbin's no, margaritas on the rocks. Corbin makes a great yeah. margarita on the rocks. When we were actually in India, uh, just a year ago to the day, really, um, last year, uh, we actually tried, I think, at least ten to twelve beers and whiskeys uh, from India, and it, it was a wonderful night. Rick started talking about uh, started talking about Big B's nuts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> It was a good time. Nice. That sounds like a, that sounds like a like the way a conversation should go towards is eventually yeah. talking about somebody's nuts. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Absolutely, it's a good night. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what what Indian beers? What Indian uh, stuff did you guys try? And what do you remember? Like, what is the one that stood out for you guys? Beer. Yeah, whichever beer or whiskey, whatever it was. Which one did you like, Rick? Um, Simba. It was I like Simba a lot. Yeah, well we, done, we man. Did, we yeah, didn't stout, actually the enjoy. I've had I've had all kinds of Simba. Yeah, Simba's yeah. good. We didn't like Kingfisher too much. 
uh, surprisingly, and we know that one's the popular one, but the, uh, I think Kingfisher premium, uh, was yeah. better than the, the original, uh, Kingfisher. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm a, I'm Irish through and through. So anything dark is, is what I, what I drink. Alcohol is my favorite subject. So we can talk about this the entire <laughs> time if we, if we want to. I'm more than happy to I, listen. Simba is so great because like, you, you know, sometimes when you have a product and you feel so happy about it, that you DM them on Instagram saying, Hey man, thanks for the day. <laughs> and they're like, uh, yeah. Can you leave us alone? Creep. <laughs> like, yeah. This, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Simba is a great stout, man. I, they gave me free stout once, I remember, which is one of the happiest days of my life. I mean, I have children, but it doesn't compare. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got free booze. That's more important. <laughs> How old are your kids? Uh, five and three. And just turned four, actually. Like, literally oh, a couple wow. of weeks back. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, there's, they're all over the place, huh? Yeah, India's, by the way, come out with some really nice gins as well. I, I think you guys missed it because over the last year, somehow a lot of nice gins have popped in. There's one called Greater Than, which is really nice. And then I discovered something called Tickle, which is uh, flavored with uh, some, uh, one of these herbs, right? I, I don't know the name. Uh, I've forgotten the name. It's like... Basil. Not basil. Basil would be the, the go-to for you in my head. <laughs> it's something else altogether. Ro- uh, uh, but- yeah, but let's let's. Uh, I know you guys have less time, so let's uh, let's talk about what you guys are watching these days. What is uh, what are you guys excited about? Because you guys turn on a lot of videos. You can, like, I think it's like four a day or something. How much is it? <laughs> uh, it's minimum two. Uh, yeah. Some sometimes three. Uh, hard, if the only reason there will ever be four is if I accident if I put out three already and then something new drops and that's that's when we'll get out four. But no, it's. Uh, yeah, it's, it's normal two a day. So I don't know. I'm bad at math. So if you do two a day for a year, that's minimum. What Rick, are you doing the math? Seven thirty. Uh, yeah. It's going to be a little over 720. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. yeah so probably, it. we probably do seven fifty a year. Yeah. And we wow. try to do it minimum two movies reviews a week, a week. Uh, so that's, I don't know how. It's a hundred, like 110 a movies year. a year. So we, yeah, like 110 movies a year is our kind of our goal. Yeah. Yeah. That's a ton, man. I got to ask you, Corbin, a very important question. I really, I've yeah. been, I've been thinking about this for the last day. What is Triassic world? <laughs> <laughs> that is a job that they hired an actor for. Uh, That's right. Uh, no, the, uh, he's Triassic proud of that world. on his resume. Yeah, exactly. Have you ever heard of Sharknado? Yeah, yeah, I have, of course. How can you not? It's a shark and a yeah. nado. <laughs> it's a, it's a, yeah. that, that, that film was from the exact same makers as Sharknado. So it tells you what type of film it was. <laughs> but, but hey, they paid. Film. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. I'm gonna. If you guys don't know, on on, on his IMDb, there is uh, this. This is Jurassic World is one of them, and it says dinosaurs are being used to grow human organs for transplants. But the scientists <laughs> that created them have to fight back when the creatures escape. Now, who did you play in this movie? Is what I have to ask. Uh, no spoiler alert. I got eaten by a dinosaur. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so it's my uh, it's my it's my breakout role. So no big deal. Absolutely. No big deal. <laughs> But, but Rick, yeah, I, was, I, was, I was actually, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Please go ahead, Colin. Yeah. Oh, no, I, I don't even remember what I was saying. So go ahead. Okay. Uh, I, I, was, I was going through Rick's uh, entire IMDb as well, just to figure out where you guys, you, you've been like working for like quite some time and on a lot of, uh, you've won, you, you won an Emmy as well, isn't it? He was a no, child some of that stuff. Some of, some of that stuff isn't accurate. Like if you look me up, one of the first credits it will show on Google is that I'm a film producer, which is 100% inaccurate. Uh, oh yeah. No, I, I have I have not won an Emmy uh, yet. Uh, so, no, but I have I have been working a really long time. I'm very happy to say, in two years, I will have been a member of Screen Actors Guild for 50 years. He's old. <laughs> He's old or he started really young. Like I remember yeah. you started as a child actor, right? Yeah, four. Wow, man. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. How how is it being a child actor though? Like what are, like what do you do you what do you remember? Was it like uh, because you keep hearing stories, right, across the board of of um, I mean uh, the Bojack Horseman syndrome 
Yeah. <laughs> but so, yeah. so how, how was it for you? Like, was was it was it an interesting time when you started out? It was great. It was what I wanted to do. And I grew up in the industry, but I was benefited from the fact that around the age of 14, I started doing a lot of theater. So I left TV and film and kind of became forgotten, which has pros and cons. The pro being I didn't have to go through what a lot of child actors go through where they try to stay in the industry as they transition into adulthood. I didn't have to deal with that because I was doing theater and then I eventually started teaching theater. Then I left for a while. And when I came back, I came back into theater. So it wasn't until about 10 years ago, I started to do any kind of TV and film again. So I only have great, happy, wonderful memories, partly also because I have great parents who loved me. They weren't stage parents. They weren't pushing me. So I'm, I'm one of the rare, me and my buddy Scott are rare instances of kids who grew up in the industry and didn't get screwed up. And he too, interestingly, like me in his teen years until he was in his early 20s, he left the industry for a while. And there may be something to say about that being good when you transition into adulthood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to get it out somewhere, right? You got to like have a normal existence for a while. I mean, yeah. That's one of the reasons I never became a child actor. There were a lot of offers when I was young. Um, it's tough. Many. Yeah, it's tough. Many people. Yeah. But I had fun. I loved it. Uh, by the way, I have got a super chat popping in from Gaurav, who's given f five euros, saying someone said alcohol? Question <laughs> mark. Like, That's great, man. Well done. Join us. Uh, I have just coffee. Sorry. Cheers. <laughs> Rick is visibly drinking water. I can sense. Uh, <laughs> Rohit Nagar says not fun. Be. It, it looks it, not it, it, doesn't, it looks too clear be, to be whiskey. No, Jameson is a uh, it, it's a clearish uh, alcohol. Okay, well, it's, then it's good. How can I? How can I? I would show it to you to show you it's not. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> Riveting. Did you movie. tell? <laughs> Riveting. You know what? Oddly enough, this is the kind of zoom that we need, that 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 this is the kind of reaction that you had while watching uh, Zakir Hussain play tabla when they did the uh, oh my god that weird <laughs> like the the zoom think, in I was like I don't whoa think it quite matches that level <laughs> no that we we had an eargasm for sure in that video it was that was incredible yeah I saw uh, I saw that I, I've seen I've seen him do that live by the way so have we. Oh, you did? Uh, oh, yeah, of course, you interviewed him and you saw the concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we saw the concert here. But yeah, he was he's incredible, man. He's yeah. so he was our first ever interview, which is insane. If you actually think about who the man is. Um, but yeah. yeah, that was uh, that was that was that was incredible. The man's a genius. Okay, I'm yep. going to take a few questions which are popping in from people. Uh, Rohit Nagar has uh, just randomly said, fun fact, Rick is a friend of Michael Jackson since childhood. Is that true? Or is that just something he's making up? That's true. Oh, wow. I mean, I'm sure you've answered this before, so I'm just going to avoid uh, gloss over the question. I talk about Michael all the time. I love talking about Michael. Let's do it. <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's <talk. laughs> and you can ask me anything. What was it? What was he like? What's the, what's the beautiful sweetheart? And I have, I, this is going to sound very strange. I have slept <laughs> with Michael Jackson. <laughs> God, Rick, God. <laughs> Were you in the documentary? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. I have nothing but beautiful things yeah. to say about Michael. Michael Michael was a sweetheart, um, uh, a child at heart, very kind, very playful. Uh, oddly, I don't know, insecure, but a perfectionist. It struck me strange after concerts. He would always want to know the truth about how good the show was because he was questioning how good the show was and wanted to make sure it was right. But... Um, I have nothing but happy, wonderful memories with Michael. And uh, I lost contact with him for a long period of time after my childhood connection with him and tried to get back in touch with him. And then unfortunately he died. So, so, so what do you, you worked with him? He was it died? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That happened for him. And I know you're, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, where, go, on. go on, go on. Um, I think, I think, uh, like, I, I mean, I don't pop, follow much American news, but I think Bill Cosby killed him, right? That's, that's, the story. Yes. that is exactly yeah, well, one of the things he did. Yeah. yeah. Bill that's Cosby definitely drugged him for sure. Uh, <laughs> the other, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, he made him eat a sweater. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> Very nice. 
uh, uh, but yeah, I, I remember seeing, uh, so when we were in school, right, uh, we, uh, uh, Michael Jackson had come to India for the first time and the only time, obviously. Right. And so our school got over at 3.30 and his concert was starting at about 7 and it started entry at 3 p.m. And so everybody in my school was basically running out of school just to meet Michael Jackson and a principal stood at the gate saying, you can't go. <laughs> and I and remember... Was the principal run over by everybody? Yeah, literally he was because parents are yeah. like, no, you have to go. It's Michael Jackson. <laughs> and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go. I, I, I got yeah. so scared by the whole like bigness of the occasion, right? That I just, I was like, this is going to be too much. And then I just, I just, sure. I just told my parents I can't go. But yeah, it was a, apparently sure. a phenomenal concert. Yeah, yeah every concert he ever did. I've, I've seen him several times in concert and then Michael was always incredible. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Corbin? Uh, were you friends with Kurt Cobain as a young man? Any, any, any stories? <laughs> <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Um, but that probably would have been fun at parties. Uh, maybe. <laughs> so, no, I didn't know any uh, child's, well, outside of Rick being my teacher, I suppose. But no, uh, there was no actual celebrities uh, that, that I knew. I knew uh, my brother was in a play in San Antonio, Texas with Tommy Lee Jones's daughter, if you know two Tommy Lee Joneses, and he was an asshole. <laughs> like he was, <laughs> he was, he was notoriously just an, he might've, I don't know, people were probably coming up to him all the time. I don't know. He might, he might be a really nice guy now, but at the time everybody was like, man, Tommy Lee Jones is just an asshole. Uh, so that, that, that's about as close as I got. Well, I mean, I think we can Google Tommy Lee Jones asshole and I'm pretty sure you'll find stories because I know one person. <laughs> you don't want to there's images. <laughs> Don't do that. You'll be scarred. Billy well, really Jones' that... asshole. <laughs> hey, let me check the image. <laughs> Tommy Don't... Jones' asshole. Yeah. No, it's Don't just... do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's just 10 huge stars from the 90s yeah. who are jerks and uh, yeah. that's basically it. Because I remember, the what is the story? I think uh, Jim Carrey <laughs> once said that Tommy Lee Jones hated him, right? I remember that at some stage where he's just, he just said, he's like, I don't get what you do. And I don't know why this is funny or something <laughs> like that. I remember, I remember that. I'm like, wow, this guy sounds like a fucking ball of a person. Um, I love okay, that he's have... just a grumpy old man. It's great. Yeah. Like he's true to character. Yeah. Um, Okay, everybody who's joined, uh, again, the numbers have picked up. Please uh, uh, give a like so that more people tune in. We have about an hour with uh, Corbin and Rick. Uh, and uh, yeah, we'll just continue onwards. Okay, we have a question coming in from Chirag Shetty. I know this is probably a tough one to answer. But question for all three favorite Indian actor. Do you guys have a favorite? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Favorite? Uh, also, is it uh, best or favorite? And is it male or female? Uh, uh, let's go either like it's just uh, uh, you know what I would say let's not say best let's say favorite because favorite is more fun because that's an emotional thing as opposed to like hey this person's craft and blah 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 well go ahead Rick go ahead um it's it's Irfan uh yeah. but his not only in watching him I love I love watching Irfan and he's always He's like Sir Anthony Hopkins. He's, he's never anything other than magnificent and the embodiment of what it means to be an actor. And I find myself most often recently, I've, I've had the, the blessing of being able to do some really small background things in the past couple of weeks. But even still, while I've been doing those things, because you're still acting, don't underestimate what you're doing even as a background actor. Uh, I find myself doing that or if I'm in a scene study, He's the one actor I'm thinking about and applying things I've heard him say about acting. So uh, it, it really is, as far as Indian actors are concerned, it's your fun. Female? Who's your female? My female, favorite female actress. Well, that's tough because there's a lot of new and up and coming, but again, my heart and it's connected to Irfan is taboo. <laughs> yeah. Now <laughs> after taboo, my highest goals right now, the one that I think can do the biggest bridge building. I preach this all the time and I think has yet to tap the potential and can be the first Oscar winner for women from India is Priyanka. Uh, I, I, yeah, but Irfan and, and Tabu are probably like, it's like that would be pretty much all of us. <laughs> like most of yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah, Irfan, I met I met once at uh, some place and it was uh, like, and this was before he had sort of exploded. 
and even then mm. he, was, he seemed like a nice person you know what i'm saying which is uh, and, yeah. and i remember I, i made some joke about him some stand up where i mentioned him and um, he quoted it and said hey please go make more jokes about me and i was like oh man that's really <laughs> nice i like this that's, yeah that's wonderful yeah. uh corbin what um, about you okay this is difficult female it's radhika apte i love radhika apte uh, i think she's phenomenal um male that's a difficult question best best for sure i mean irfan's obviously in there of course nawazuddin sadiqi pankaj tripathi uh or tripathi however you i always mispronounce his name uh and i i love ranveer i think i think ranveer is incredibly fun <laughs> yeah like uh, 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 what uh, rick you mentioned something where you said that you you remember what what uh, irfan said about acting what is the like what is the thing that stu- that stuck out for you because i remember seeing him in tokyo trials which is like this uh, um uh, this netflix uh, whatever some uh, set in japan post the world war and there was some pretty heavy hitters on that on that particular show and i think irfan enters in the first episode and he has probably a 45 second scene and he stole the episode just effortlessly yeah. not doing anything and i was like that's the word genius yeah effortless that's yeah. the word yeah uh the thing that sticks out i heard him say and i've never forgotten it and it's it's probably one of the best pieces of advice i've ever heard or could ever give to an actor and i heard him say this isn't verbatim but this is the basic gist of it that it was a goal of his to never be different that he should feel exactly the same before the action during action and after cut that there wasn't any getting ready you know speed rolling quiet on the set cameras are ready and you're getting ready and action and then you're there for him it was just i i'm i'm no different right now and i actually it's really it may seem silly but i was doing this this work it was a big scene i didn't have any lines but i'm on camera and i'm supposed to just be on the phone in the scene while the cameras are going on with the actors who are in the main forefront of the scene and then it was ending and i made it a point to apply that and i was just i was on my phone in between cuts and takes and i never changed what i was doing i was the same me when i walked on to set as i was when they said cameras are rolling action cut and it was all because of that admonition i heard irfan say there's no putting anything on i i just i want to be exactly who i'm supposed to be before action and after cut there's just no change that's such an interesting thing because it's like it, it actually oddly enough applies to stand up because it, you find that the shows that go off well are the ones where you sort of flow into it as opposed mm. to you're like ah oh, it's a show on hey, right hype awesome. yourself up yeah 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 right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Corbin, I mean, what is the uh, what is the one like? I mean, you guys watch all these interviews and all. What is the one like acting advice that stood out for you as well? That you're like, oh, this is uh, this is defining. Well, I'd probably say it's it's pretty similar. Irfan's, uh, we say it all the time. The most effortless actor we've ever seen in our life. Like he, like I've never seen anybody just be as good as he is and not look like he's trying. like in the slightest it looks like he you just found this guy on the street and you're like oh here say these lines for me real quick please and he just it looks like this it so the the effortless thatness that he put in not that to say he doesn't put any effort in but like to just be in the moment uh like that i think pankaj tripathi does a, an amazing job at being so small but yet incredibly powerful on screen uh in one of the most versatile actors i've ever seen i can't think of one specific thing that somebody said but those styles of uh, acting or or stuff that that sticks with me for sure uh, i remember watching a movie of irfan i forgot the name something with m uh, madari i think was Mabool? the name oh uh, no no Madhu, <laughs> Mabool was i think his breakout role madari was the one where it was like it, the movie was very okay it was just like it was too much But there were yeah. two scenes where Irfan just like one scene where he exploded, and then one scene where he was like having a breakdown. And I'm like, this is worth the ticket price. <laughs> I've seen these two scenes. That's all I needed. Needed from Irfan was just this. Um, Absolutely. So yeah, those, those, yeah, those are good choices, guys. Well done. Uh, dude, like Irfan was, I think, uh, not since the death of Robin Williams did I take a death of a celebrity that personally. Yeah. Because I'm like, yeah. there's something that you represented, which was. Uh, uh, completely and i know that robin williams as a stand up comedian had other things about plagiarism and all the rest of that stuff 
talking as a person and an actor and all that. So, yeah. Oh yeah, he was the, he was incredible. We actually got to see um, his last film in Greasy Medium in India when we were there a year ago uh, at the premiere. Uh, he wasn't there; he was too sick at the moment. Uh, but he he did leave a message for 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 the entire crowd, and his family was in attendance as well, and and a whole bunch of other people. So it was. It was really special. That was the last movie we saw in theaters as well. Uh, well, listen, uh, this Corbin, by the way, you uh, were involved in something which is bigger than him. Triassic World is bigger than Jurassic World. I mean, that's <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's nothing else to say. <laughs> it was it was a it was an amazing role. I'm expecting an Oscar nom here soon. So. Uh... Yeah, but I'm sure it was a lot of fun, man. I'm sure it was like fun to do that. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> the, sure. the the makeup when I got eaten was incredibly fun. They just put blood all over me and prosthetics. It was incredibly fun. Nice. Okay, uh, let's take a lot more questions. First of all, uh, Ratinder Singh, thanks a lot for your super chat, man. Very nice of you. Um, Av- 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 Aviral uh, Tuteja says, check out God in a Metro if you get some time. What is God in a Metro? Do you guys know about God in a Metro? Yeah, I know. Familiar. Life in a Metro. Life in a Metro with your fun, I know, but I don't know about God in a Metro. That's yeah, it. I've there must be a Metro. Yeah, I've seen Life in a Metro. It was okay. It was fun. Yeah. Life in a Metro was about the inter interlinking stories, right? It was like disparate stories and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, we, we haven't yeah. seen it. Oh, you haven't seen it? Uh, I'm, I'm already, no, we haven't no. seen it. But it's okay, the same I'm, director as Ludo. I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. See, this is this is why I know you guys. You guys watch more films. I'm asking you guys. Hey, you guys, know about like God? Man, like, do you mean life in a metro? You fucking moron! You know anything yeah. about Indian pop culture, man? <laughs> I, I know this is a cliche thing, but where did it start? Where did it like uh, like? Uh, and and it's a two part question. Okay, like people who are obsessed with Japanese culture are called weebs, right? So, what are you guys called? Like, what is the obsession with? Like, is it is it Indophile? But that sounds too much. It sounds too much to be an Indophile. No, it's, it's, we don't, it, cause we're not just, India kind of just happened. Uh, right. We just, we've always loved kind of just cinema in general. Uh, right. And so we just like good cinema. And so whether that's from India, uh, then that, that's the only reason, obviously we have an entire channel cause that's what our audience wants. And so we keep watching that, but Rick also on his own personal channel in, uh, reviews films from around the world, from Iran to Spain to all the kind of stuff. So we're, we, it's not anything specific to really India that we're just like, you know, how people love K-pop. It's really just, we like good cinema. And so we've, we've found a whole bunch of new actors that we love and that are making, directors that are making some great films, Anya Adkashya, Vishal Bardwash, all these great artists. So that that's mostly what it is. It's not really just a, we, we, we love the, like a, the people love Korean culture and stuff like that. It's, we're exploring the culture and but we just love good cinema is mainly what we are. That's uh yeah, it's uh have you guys seen Caught by any chance? Yes, um, yes. Oh yeah, oh man. It's, it's a fantastic it, film. Wasn't it? Uh and Tumbad obviously you guys have seen. Yeah, we've yes. seen Tumbad. Yeah. yeah. If you ever get the chance, uh, did you do you guys see it on the on the on the, on your laptop or something, or did you see it like uh because uh, I, I uh, it, it wasn't in theaters, but it was on normal you know yeah, screen yeah. at home yeah. yeah if you ever get the chance man that that movie i've seen i've seen it on both sides and the experience of watching it uh, on on like without revealing the climax but that particular climax in the in the big theater with all the sounds oh, oh my bet. god yeah that was mind blowing yeah that is uh, cool i'll take a couple more questions uh, tandan obra thanks a lot for your super chat man very nice of you uh, karthik sharma says corbin this is about the star of your cooking lo- vlogs which Indian dish Leland did not like? Leland loves everything. Leland, they had, we have not found a food. Leland is my son, my one-year-old son. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, he, uh, he, we don't, he, he loves literally just all food. So I haven't found anything he doesn't like yet. Th- that's always a gift as a parent, right? <laughs> Your child is like, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah. Bring it just on. Puts up, yeah. Just put it in my mouth. That's all I <laughs> That's all I want. My, my son transitioned. I think until he was three, he was really like this thing and uh, very picky about things and not eating stuff. And then I think uh. we suddenly started taking him for random buff- buffets and thalis. And oh. his, I think his palate just expanded overnight and now he eats everything. Except like, yeah. he, and we are introducing him to spice, which is a very fascinating transition. I um, should do that with my son because I'm a big wimp when it comes to spice. 
like big time pepperoni is yeah. spicy uh so like it's pretty bad so i should probably introduce him to like spice right now so he's not a wimp like i am <laughs> uh, okay neeraj vashisht uh, says irfan's most effortless acting vodafone chota recharge ads kabutar mehanga pad jayega uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this is by the way true right if an actor can pull off a brand endorsement effortlessly then they oh. have talent and yeah. right? so, so it's basically it did these uh, really uh, i think it was yeah very seamless ads where he just uh, plugged vodafone and it was like yeah i'll buy vodafone man no problem just let's do it um, i haven't seen those we need to we need to watch them <laughs> yeah we need to see that and yeah. then you got to watch the cisco led ad cisco led was i think one of the last uh, uh, few ads that he did and I, i think that's what i also mentioned in my stand up about him talking about cisco led cisco led lao and it's just really yeah. chill he's like it's not like hey cisco led guys you're feeling it right it's got bright and it's just like cisco led and you're like cool man <laughs> makes sense um i think okay, i think uh, the first stand up we ever saw you in was the game of thrones nudity uh reaction of yours where you said yes. boobs and That's we laughed really true. hard because you said boobs it was hilarious <laughs> nice word it's just a yeah, nice it's word it's a great word it's a yeah. great word um balu 2704 says i get that numbers talk to them but i like to tell them that they are both n north and south indians living inside individuals in the south sometimes they create the two separate the two and create an invisible rift do you guys understand what, what this was i don't no, know what, what this is saying? I'll repeat. I'll try and repeat it to try and understand what he's saying. What he's trying to say. Uh, I get that numbers talk to them, but I'd like to tell them that they are both North and South Indians living inside individuals in the South. Sometimes they separate the two and create an invisible rift. Oh, okay. I know what the, I think. I know what he's trying to say. What's he saying? I, I think what he's trying to say, and this would be a sentiment that's similar to what we have wanted to see, is that. uh the the differentiation between south and north and that there shouldn't be the stereotype of that just because you're from the south doesn't mean there's some north in you and that you don't appreciate the north or vice versa mm. yeah i have no idea what he means none yeah no clue sounds something like that yeah but i, I think <laughs> it's just, he's trying to squeeze in a lot in one super chat give yes, us 17 yeah. more super chats and we'll try and figure it out um <laughs> just give us cash <laughs> I mean yeah <laughs> then I'll understand then you you give me money I'll understand everything you say it's like a, it's like a corporate stand up show <laughs> they're like hey listen we have this product and it sells ball bearings to eastern europe and just write jokes on that I'm like sure of course give me cash I will do it um okay we almost up to 1000 likes uh, let's uh, let's uh, uh, give a like so that we can get it up there Uh, I got to ask you guys have you ever recorded a video like where you were it could be indian cinema it could be whatever cinema where you just uh, or just any any pop culture where you just didn't like it at all and then you're like you know what we shouldn't put this out once yeah we did that once that happened once and yeah. you don't want to say, was, uh, say what it was no we can it was about no. the um it was about the you you could tell me this the the richest man in india in his big building mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Antila. Ant- yeah, that. Antila, yeah, we, yeah. We we reacted to it and we just hated it. We like the fact that this billionaire was overlooking a bunch of slums. It just I we couldn't it it put a a pit in our stomach and we didn't like it. So, uh ah. yeah, we know. Oh, and then there was another one. There was uh, thought, a YouTube yeah, I forgot a that YouTuber. One. I don't want to say his name, but we, there was a YouTuber that is post supposedly r- be really popular. uh and we watched one of his videos and we just didn't get it it's clearly not for us and so we didn't want to insult a whole bunch of people and so we we never we never posted that reaction it was just cuz uh, cuz he's a really popular he's a really popular guy and i'm sure to people who get it he's very funny we just we had no clue what the hell he was talking about why it was funny so yeah that's so what happened of, twice you got scared of carry men and his fans <laughs> Is was it Gary Menon you guys know? Yeah, no, and, and, and you know when you consider the fact that we've probably done, but we you know, haven't done the count, but it's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of fifteen yeah. hundred reactions and reviews. Uh, there's only two we've we've never published because when we did it, we were like, that was a waste of time. Why are we even going to yeah. post that? Yeah. yeah, no, it's yeah, and it's not really. Oh, we've uh, we've upset many a people, so we're not really we're not really scared. Yeah, we don't we don't care people. <laughs> yeah like we we hated drishium too and we got a ton of hate for that so yeah. we we don't <laughs> I, we i get hate on a really weekly, a daily basis sometimes 
So, so yeah, what, is the, what is the what is the who are the most like who are still people who are who are still hung up on something you said and still keep going after you? What is the what is the one bit that that? Uh, Hunter, Hunter, Hunter. Hunt. Uh, well, yeah, that's a different story. Uh, but yeah, Rick went off on a rant on the on and Hadun. Is that how you actually pronounce it? Uh, Andhadun. Andhadun. Are you talking yes. about Andhadun? Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Rick had a rant in that in that uh, review about the piano playing and how it didn't match, and it was about ten minutes of the entire twenty five minute review, uh, and so that's kind of lived in infamy. <laughs> um, and then we you we, have a new one we, yourself that's not nearly as big as that one, but your uh, your new oh one yeah, is this I, week. We just watched Talash uh, with Amir Khan. Yeah, and uh, I I called it a masala film because somebody told me it was. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. apparently it's it's not a masala film so uh we're getting uh, ridiculed for that <laughs> it is a brutal. masala film it's pretty it's pretty like it's pretty absurd and it's oh. quite out there yeah it's sort of, yeah, thousands it's, that oh, are the disagree. internet's gonna come for you sir yeah, yeah go yeah. for it <laughs> i see i have i have one third your subscribers so the hate will be one third so it's fine <laughs> i will accept it <laughs> <laughs> but 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 listen as as a, as a like you play the piano as a professional right so i'm i'm assuming that that's something that was, like if i saw somebody do st- like which has happened recently where you've seen people do stand up in in movies and you're like this is not what fucking happens dude <laughs> like, so i would go off on a rant Thank for 10 you. minutes about that yeah please do not yeah let him talk about this again <laughs> thank you i do not i do not want to go over this again Uh. <laughs> all I can awesome. say is when you watch when you watch um, Ma Rainey's Black Bottom right when you watch that Chadwick's hands match the notes that's all I'm going to say match my uh. hand Rick <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to mention I'm going to message Aishman Khurana and say hey man <laughs> no yeah, it's the director it's the director yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> which which is still an improvement from like how they used to play the guitar earlier Uh, oh it's amazing. My favorite of those, what was it we just what was it we saw recently Corbin where it wasn't what? even remotely close and I was loving it? I think it was like a Govinda video. It it was was it, Gov- it I think it was a anyway, it was, was like there was no strings on the guitar and they're just going like this. It's fantastic. Yeah, it was something like that. I forget exactly uh-huh. what it was though. I forgot which movie it was but the 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 sound was an electric electric guitar and there was somebody that playing the bass. The And they're yeah, playing the bass with all the bass. time. <laughs> like this is good, man. That was great. I, I really thoroughly enjoyed. It. Because so back then I was I was trying to like uh, the schedules of all the uh, these actors, right? Like the legendary stories of of um, of um, uh, what the um, are yeah, what is that famous uh, sh- uh, Amir Khan Amir Khan Salman Khan movie? Uh, oh, Abna Abna something something. Right? Yeah, Andaz Apna Abna. Yeah. So Andaz Apna Abna. Yeah. There's a cameo in there by Govinda. uh sorry but sunny day or was it sunny day or govinda so it was govinda and the way the cameo came about was that all of them were just happening to shoot about four movies at the same time which is what they used to do and so they were trying to get sunny day but he happened to be busy so then they just saw govinda they're like hey will you come and he's like sure sure and he just came into the movie so his cameo huh. was on the basis of just being available just so being they the schedules yeah and the schedules that time were they were, they were like so there's a very famous article of amitabh bachchan way back in the in the 80s at the peak of his career where he used to do i think he was shooting five movies in a day so he would pop into one deliver two lines go to the next studio deliver three lines go to the third do a stunt go to the fourth lip sync and so he had been working for work. 34 hours yeah and so that's why what? they weren't being able to play the guitar you're like what point will they learn in the middle of all this yeah why would wow. they do that why would they have five that oh my word that doesn't even make sense that's terrible It was a volume business back then. It wasn't about like now. It's like it, it, then it was like, hey, we need to make four movies to make uh, whatever money, and then yeah, sh- yeah. Shooted, yeah, for sure, um, yeah. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's take a couple more popping in. Uh, Ritesh uh, Satapati, thanks a lot for your super chat. Tandon Oberoi says two of my favorite people in the world. Lots of love. Forgot to mention it in my previous chat. That's why I am stupid, baby. Nice. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Love right back at you, stupid baby. Uh, Neeraj Krishnan says Corbin did a scene from Heather. Are we going to see Rick do one anytime soon? Ask him to say something in Bengali or Hindi. How often do people ask you to say things in Bengali or Hindi? Uh, well, Bengali a lot recently. 
because I'm a Bengali. I'm I'm learning Bengali. Rick has a um, Bengali girlfriend. Oh wow! I have a yeah. Bengali wife, and I've made no effort. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I mean, she she barely. She, so my wife keeps pretending that she speaks Bengali, but it's like it's it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so she doesn't really speak Bengali. She does. She and uh, listen. I can't say this in public. She's great at Bengali. She speaks it. She understands it. She is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You're gonna be in trouble, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the little I've heard I don't understand the language either way but it it, it doesn't seem uh, genuine. <laughs> I know a bunch of I just I just know curse words in Hindi. I did an entire scene in Hindi but that I I literally learned those words. I didn't learn Hindi um for the scene. Um but yeah, I know a bunch of cuss words so that's cool. Nice. Uh but but so what he said so are we going to see Rick do one anytime soon are you planning to do any such scene like like Heather or something like that like a reenactment we we were working on one a while back and that will yeah. that will come back i'm i'm i i was working on it it stopped we have other things we're working on now but it will not surprise me if that's something that we do sooner than later yes yeah we 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 it, it takes a while because obviously we don't learn them in english it be one thing if we did learn them in english cuz we could do that in a week um right. obviously but we have to literally learn a new language and make sure it's correct so i hired a hindi teacher when i learned my scene uh to to learn it um but yeah it it takes a, it takes some time so the one time i was supposed to do a hindi film uh they had a hindi teacher who started teaching like really really hardcore intense hindi and then when uh they had my thing uh, the my 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 character was supposed to be really the opposite and i was like mm-hmm. why did we go through that last month <laughs> when this character is not even speaking vaguely in that language anyway they dropped me from the film but that's a separate thing got to get not related to this at all uh Balu two seven zero four is back saying I'm a broke student but I'd really like an answer. Balu, we don't understand your question still. We don't understand what the question was. So I wish I could give you an answer, but neither yeah, of us have know. understood the question. Sorry, yeah, Bala. I don't understand his question. I would like to answer it, but I don't. Yeah, uh, Ritesh uh, Satapati says which Hollywood actor all three of you hate the most? <laughs> now we're just getting into like, yeah, do you want to talk about who you hate the most now? Well, Rick and I don't hate the same people, so yeah. Um I don't like Tom Cruise. Uh I don't really like Bruce Willis. I don't <laughs> There's a bunch of the big action old stars that I'm not fans of, but I am not a fan of Tom Cruise. I I think he's a terrible actor. Oh, what about you, Rick? Well, there's some people who are like action actors that aren't really actors like I love watching the action sequences of this person but as far as acting is concerned Jean-Claude Van Damme is a an actor um and and the one actor who's like been a respected actor for a long time who I really disliked for a very long time until season 2 of Stranger Things was Winona Ryder Ah interesting and what changed yeah. in season 2 because she, like she 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 worked with Samwise Gamgee Oh yeah, my god. That's what happened. Yeah. Yeah, the oh work. My god. It was amazing to watch her work with uh it, when they worked together, something started to change in the way that she was becoming just more genuine in the space that I felt that she was working in because the most part when I watched Winona, I saw her working. She's one of the few actors that when I watched her, I wanted to be in an in a in a workshop and watch her work through her stuff. And that's usually what happens. It isn't one particular actor all the time. It's some actors in certain roles but uh I, corbin's got a longer list like tom cruise for example i love i love I winona ryder I, i i had a i had a switch with tom cruise i think after he did his interview with the nerdist uh where it uh, he so he did an interview a, a sort of podcast or something with the nerdist and he's like i i i immediately admire people where i'm like oh that's the work you put in You know what I'm saying, and and I I'm suddenly like I'm I'm amazed by the whole package as opposed to like this one specific thing where I'm like, uh, oh, it's you're in everything, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's a it's a star thing or whatever the star quality or whatever it is, right? Like uh, like you can distinctly see even in Bollywood when somebody is um, 
when, when the actors got an involved in things and improved it as opposed to some who aren't capable of doing that and there's some who you are like oh you really elevated this as opposed to made it worse which yeah. uh, without taking names there are a couple who i feel like uh, <laughs> Okay, I will tell you. Like I've said, I've spoken about this. Before. Like Ranbir Kapoor and Sanju, I was, I was like, I, I don't get this. We haven't seen Sanju yet. So it's about Sanju Dutt, have... right? Where he plays Sanju Dutt, and so if you know Sanju Dutt from before, I just thought yeah. his accent kept kept slipping. The okay. <laughs> so mm. so once he'd be like, "Hey, there's the genetic in here," and then he'd be like, "Excuse me, can I have a whiskey?" And you're like, what just happened? Well, even <laughs> the best like, of them can. Even the best yeah. of them can blow an accent. If you haven't seen Benedict Cumberbatch try and do a Bostonian accent, it's brutal. Yeah, yeah. Black <laughs> I have. Yeah, 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 yeah. In Black Mass, that, yeah. it was it was it's pretty so terrible. Bad. Benedict Cumberbatch is really a great bad, actor. Yeah. 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 And so is Ranbir. Ranbir is like, I mean, in Wake Up Sid and uh, what's the other movie that I really liked of his? Uh, um, Rocket Singh. Rocket Singh was great. He was great yeah. in Rocket Singh. Um, okay. Uh, what's happening here? Oh yeah, there's uh, uh, Rajat Shah. Hi Rajat, how are you doing, man? Uh, thanks a lot for your whiskey once again. Uh, and he says, not a fan of trailer re- reaction and re- reviews, but I really enjoy your music reactions and interviews. Uh, P.S. Corbin, hope you're listening to those vinyls. Uh, breaks my heart to see them wrapped in plastic. Ah, uh, oh no, I got them right here, man. They're, they're I listen to them. Uh, well, the ones that I've seen the films, I will listen to. Uh, we have because we've been gifted a whole bunch of stuff. So I've like. Bombay, Tal, uh, a whole bunch of different albums of A. R. Rahman and other Bollywood films um, that people have gifted us, um, and I've listened. I, I will listen to them on the record player as long as we've actually seen all the songs or seen the film, because I don't. We might react to one of the songs, and then I would have heard it by then. So, but yes, I am. What is so so the vinyl like? Is there some other quality to the sound that's that something else, or is just the whole experience or something? What what is the what is the hook there? Rick, you probably know that answer. Um, yeah, I think the reason it came back is because there is something about the sound. There's that scratchy quality. Yeah. It's almost comparable to me with a visual format of watching uh, stuff that was shot in. Panavision back in the day. There's just a particular feel that comes with it. And when you've got that, the minute you drop that needle and you start to hear that little crunchy sound, there is there is nothing else like that sound. That crunchy sound. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Gotta love that crunchy sound, man. <laughs> uh, what do you like about the vinyl? The crunchy sound killed it, man. It yeah, nice. gotta yeah. love the crunchy sound. <laughs> I was listening to I think some interview by I don't know whether it was like the Led Zepp guys or I don't know who it was where they said that the overproduction of music nowadays has sort absolutely. of absolutely it's it's literally like like if you're listening to Going to California there's a point where it's almost like uh, you don't want to take that again man and he didn't take it again because it just seems so but it seemed more natural right as a flow as opposed to now where everything is my friend uh, did this to me where I went to a recording studio and I was. trying we're trying to rap we don't know how to rap or sing and then he just took me singing and he he turned it into something which is palatable and i'm like my god this is mm-hmm. this is quite easy man yeah yeah any anybody can sound good in the studio anybody because they can do whatever they want to with a voice compress it and yes most things unfortunately get overproduced versus just be human and have space and breathe yeah So that's why we buy vinyl. I mean, I don't know. I don't even have a vinyl player, but I will buy it now. Um, Vamsi Vanteru says, "What about Big Bang Theory? Where Kahona Pyar has song was playing with Amisha Patel and Sheldon." Raj says, "That's Ashwarya Rai. It's not just Bollywood." Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Mm. The, the, yeah, that was obviously an oversight. Yeah, for sure. Um, Neeraja Surve says, "Super chatting for the first time. Just a stupid baby." There you go. Ah, uh, mm, love you, hey, stupid hey, baby. Hey, Uh, Karthik Sharma says this reminds me of Will Ferrell's "Make Reasonable Choices" tattoo in Hindi. Will Ferrell has What? a "Make Reasonable" tattoo? I, I, I think no I'm seeing the wrong person. I, that's I'm assuming that Will Ferrell tattoo. I got to check this out. Was it? Well, oh, I think. Oh, I think tattoo? it was in. It was in uh, Tagadella Nights or something like that. So, yeah. Oh, he got a tattoo oh, in Tagadella okay. Nights. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. 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 Uh, Rick, were you nervous of getting a misspelled tattoo in a different language before your apna time aayega tattoo? A little bit. 
<laughs> a little bit. I asked, I got input from stupid babies um, nice. uh, on, on the image and it, how it looked. And I asked many of them, please tell me 100% this is exactly the way it's supposed to look because I don't know. And the guy doing it isn't going to know. It was really important. And I trusted the stupid babies with the design and with the assurance. And then even then I was a little nervous when, when our, my tack guy started putting it on that it was going to still be right. So yeah, I was a little nervous. Yeah. By the way, you were one Reddit uh, uh, away, subreddit away from everybody lying to you. <laughs> <laughs> they could have so easily coordinated. <laughs> so oh, I know. Okay. But stu- yeah. stupid babies don't do that. So oh, I, man. it's, yeah. <laughs> trust your fans. Yeah, nice. I, li- I like these kind <laughs> of fans we can trust, you know. Um, okay, uh, Balu2704 is still trying to get the question across. He's re-asked the question. And this is his question. Now let's see if he can understand it. Do you think, do you think a film industry is the true representation of a region's people? I don't think so. And that's why I mentioned the invisible rift. No, uh, no, it's not. No, I don't think, I mean, it, it can rep film can represent people, but no, not one film is going to represent an entire group of people that I would, we would never presume that ever. No. And yeah. it, it depends on, it absolutely depends on the filmmaker. Um, the best thing to do is to listen to the region it comes from, because I can think of, for example, uh, directors that come from different countries and those countries applaud them for representing, like the film Roma was celebrated as being a true depiction of something of the, 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 the Mexican life experience. So, but that's that singular film. I, I, I wouldn't relegate that to the totality of a, a film industry always nailing their region at all. No, yeah, absolutely yeah. not. Yeah, and yeah. also like in, in, I mean, in, in the Indian film industry is proof. You can have like seven different directors make literally the same topic and make it completely differently. Uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. yeah. yeah. Uh, Kuku Chiku has asked a question. Looks like this started earlier than scheduled. How? I had said 10 a.m. You guys didn't pay attention. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, is Kangana's uh, a quote of being a better actor than Meryl Streep claim discussed already? <laughs> we have not discussed that yet. Not here. No, no, we have not discussed that. No, <laughs> it was it was discussed on Twitter when she tweeted it. Oh, yeah. what was it? What is, did you did you guys reply back to her? Did you get into a tweet war with Kangana Rana? Not, uh, not directly no. to her. Just commented no. on her tweet. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, and she didn't reply back. Oh no! Oh no! No! Are. No! No! Come on! No! She doesn't know who we are, or would no. care. No, she doesn't care about us. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> that's totally Listen, fine. She's, respi- she's replied to comedian friends of mine who are not that popular. In like, I mean, they're popular, but they're not like popular. Oh, and she's well, taking well, the time out to reply to them. So yeah, she no, may know I... who we are, but she hasn't replied to us. No, and uh, you know, we it's that's just an absurd statement. For anybody, I don't care who you are. I don't care if you are my favorite actress ever. You can't compare yourself to Meryl Streep. That's just not something you do. <laughs> I don't like. like what, what, did, what do you guys think of it? What did you think of it? That it's, it's you can't you can't say that. It's, that yeah. That's it's stupid. <laughs> well, yeah, it's no, number one. The lack of humility and the, in, the increase of arrogance in a statement like that transcends my comprehension to even articulate, let alone make public. And then it's just factually not accurate. There's, there, it's uh, the body of work comparatively. It's just, it's, it's, to even say that, it would be like, you could take my favorite actors that are alive right now. So if, I, let's just, Tom Hanks came off the top of my head. I love, I love Tom Hanks, right? If Tom Hanks came out and said he's as good of an actor as Marlon Brando ever was, I would say, you're smoking crack, Tom, and you're arrogant. What are you even talking about? Mm -hmm. You don't touch Brando. You're an Oscar winning actor, but you're not Marlon Brando. Yeah. Or if he, or any other actor, I'm using the men, for example, if some great actor right now said i'm as good as uh, daniel day lewis i'd say no you absolutely are not and that you said it is actually 
d- disturbing. <laughs> so, but yeah, we definitely got some. Uh, there's oh, she we got, got some passion. She she got some passionate fans out there for sure. <laughs> that will defend her even if she, you know, compares herself to Meryl Streep. Uh, so you know, more power to you. Whatever. Do you think she was joking? Do you think she was just like like I, I have a feeling that like so as a cricket fan, right? There's this uh, English cricket called Michael Vaughan who just deliberately keeps trolling, keeps baiting Indian cricket fans. And it's almost beautiful to watch because every single day somebody falls for it. And every single day you'll say something and people go like, hey, this is, how dare you say this about whatever? And it's great. So do you think that she was just baiting or do you think she was joking or she, do you think she's serious? I, I don't know her well enough to, I right. don't know her, per, like, obviously we don't know her personally, but like, I don't know her personality well enough. I don't follow her that closely. Uh, we've seen a few of her films and she was good. She wasn't Meryl Streep, obviously, but like, so it's not, it's, it's, uh, I have no idea. I don't, that's not the interpretation I got, but who knows? <laughs> no, and I, obviously I don't, don't know her personally, but based on tweets I have seen and interviews I have watched, it's congruent with things that have been stated in a consistent manner. So okay, let's say let's say okay. What is the greatest performance by Meryl Streep ever? Which is the movie? Was it uh, uh, ever? Like okay, just say one. Just say one. Any like uh, one of the just a movie. Kramer that comes versus to mind. Kramer. Kramer versus Kramer is the easy one. Okay, so let's ask Dopey's the chat. Choice. Okay, yeah. Dopey's let's choice, ask. Yeah. Okay. Dopey's choice. Yeah. Let's ask people. Meryl Streep in Kramer versus Kramer or Kangana Ranaut in Queen. Let's go chat. <laughs> let, let, let's resolve this question once. Sophie's <laughs> choice. Sophie's choice is a much fine, more fine. muscular. Okay, Sophie's choice. Role. Either Meryl Streep and Sophie's choice or Kramer versus Kramer versus uh, Kangana Ranaut and Queen. Uh, guys, go for it. Let's see. We will we will resolve this democratically and find a solution. Uh, uh, <laughs> a I calculable love solution. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that 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 meme? There was a a meme after she was doing. I we didn't make it, but the. Um, it said uh, better actor than Meryl Streep, and then it showed her on the set of Manicarnica, and she was riding a fake horse. And then, <laughs> like as everybody else was riding real horses, she was riding a fake horse on the uh, on the set. It was quite funny. It was very comedically humorous. But I mean, that's good acting, right? I mean, if you can convince the uh, the audience that hey, this is a real like you know what people I'm constantly amazed by is those CGI people where you have to talk to a tennis ball. I'm like, that's devastating acting. <laughs> oh no, yeah. we actually yeah. we actually thought. I mean, we probably still think she's she's a good actress. Yeah, she's, she's not Meryl Streep. Yeah, she's not Meryl yeah. Streep. That's stupid, for, a stupid statement for her to make. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, let's see. Let, let's let's see what the what the chats are saying. Okay, somebody's saying Kangana rocks. Then Kangana for the win. Then Kramer versus Kramer by a mile. Streep, Streep, uh, Streep, 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 Streep. Kangana <laughs> queen. So we choice. Oh man, this is this is closer than you guys might think. You know, <laughs> this is getting closer. Yeah, it doesn't. Yeah, it, 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 you could have five million people say Kangana and just. It's like the, there's a lot of people that still think the world's flat. They're wrong. Yeah, it's true. I mean, they're brave. Uh, it's, uh, I'm, I'm just, I, listen, people who say the world is flat, I'm so, I'm so impressed by them. Like to go against everything. What? It's, I'm so <laughs> impressed. Just imagine where you, you stand against you? everything. Oh my God. Yeah. 100%. That, that's, <laughs> Can you that's, imagine? That, that, that's one word for it, I suppose. I, I would Can you imagine word? every single thing you know in the world and you stand against all of it and you, you come on news channels and talk. It's like that, that dude who said that birds are not real, right? And then they found out that it was basically some dude trolling the world and he had started some 4chan thing and whatever. And uh, it's the same with, with this where I'm like, can you imagine not trolling the world and sincerely believing that the world is actually flat despite everything? It's, I, I'm very impressed by such people who decide to stand well, with something so absurd. Well, well, you see here, we had a president who didn't believe in reality either. So we're, yeah. we're not too impressed with that anymore. <laughs> But listen, I don't think most heads of states of any country believe in reality, and I will not comment any more <laughs> on mine. <laughs> I will just leave it there. Uh, uh, but this is getting close. Some people are saying Salman in Ekta Tiger has defeated Meryl Streep. <laughs> <laughs> that might be true. This is next level. Yeah, yeah. yeah that might Salman, be true. Salman Khan is probably the closest you can get to Meryl Streep. That's true. I'll, I'll give That's him that. True. Yeah, I've heard her say that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Can you imagine that Oscar speech where she's like, "Ah, uh, <laughs> I want to give this to Salman Khan. His work in Bharat and Ekta Tiger have inspired me." And let's not forget Kink, where he played the devil guys. <laughs> let's not forget. <laughs> Uh, But I saw Kick in the theater. It still remains one of my favorite experiences to watch that movie in the theater. We've oh. seen one Salman Khan film, so <laughs> which one? Which one is it? Uh, the one with Nawaz and the the girl from um, Pakistan that he has to get across. Starts with B. Yeah, Bharat, right? That was Bharat, right? I think so. Because uh, Kick, I think Nawaz was in Kick as well. Yeah, no, Nawaz no. plays a, a news reporter, and uh, uh, Karina Kapoor is in it as well. Oh, I even I don't know. I, I yeah, it starts with Khan is helping this little girl get get back to Pakistan. Oh, I, I know the, what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're yeah. talking about. Even that's the only one. Movie. That's the only one. We uh, we thought it was a good movie. Uh, yeah, it was a good movie. Yeah, it was a good movie. Yeah, it was a nice movie. Um, but no, we haven't seen any other uh, Salman Khan film. Yeah, that was uh, this Kabir Khan, but Baj- Bajrangi Bhaijan. That was the one. Yeah. Yes, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. That was a good movie. I enjoyed, and but that's him acting, like because like uh, you got to see Kick Man. It's uh, it's just uh, it's it's so 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 it's so foolish and fun. It's okay. I'll tell you. There's a scene, okay, and this is I'm just I'm not revealing anything. There's a scene where he gets caught by Polish cops in Poland. Okay, I think it's Poland, <laughs> and, and they are like, hey, we got to arrest you. And he says he takes a gun and he's like, no, I'll shoot myself, and they let him go. <laughs> What? <laughs> That's that's an actual okay. sequence that happens where the cops are like, "Don't shoot yourself. <laughs> we let you go," <laughs> even though we were planning to do that. <laughs> it's great. You got to watch the movie, man. He he jumps into the water and then the next scene he he jumps into the water in Europe and uh, like uh, he swims and he arrives like the 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 assumption is that he's arrived in Dubai the next day uh, by <laughs> swimming. It's it's hilarious. You got to see it, man. It's a great movie. Wow. Yeah. Oh yeah. uh, wow. <laughs> he has he has some very passionate fans. Uh, uh yeah. To say the to say the least for sure. Okay, I I know you both have a lot to do in life and uh, it's uh, late at night. I'll I'll take like five more questions and then uh, I'll bounce. So just try and make it quick. Um Okay, we have uh, Swadheen. Thanks a lot for your super chat with the coffee mug. Very nice of you. Balu2704 says are reactions easier than podcasts? plans to venture are you guys you guys are doing the interviews and th- are you guys planning to venture into doing podcasts oh, well originally the channel actually started as a podcast but um that uh then it switched into um movie reviews and and all that kind of stuff but no probably not a podcast per se um because we we're already in, so incredibly since we release an absurd amount of films a week i mean a uh, videos a week it that takes a lot of time to film those reactions edit them and and then also do other stuff that we we do for that aren't just yeah. reaction channels yeah uh because we're we're actors as well and so we we do auditions we go we film stuff and then we also do different types of videos on either on our personal channels or on the channel as well like right now we have a big video we're 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 working on um yeah we're really we're about we're really busy right now with a big video we're working on and because we're members of SAG we've got a ton of movies and TV shows to watch to do voting for the SAG awards which we do yeah. anyway because we love watching all the films in addition to the films we watch for the channel so yeah the thought of adding podcast on top of that is just probably not reasonable at all <laughs> yeah rick has to go to bed at a certain time he's really old he needs his milk yeah that's, you know, that's true <laughs> milk. I, i got do you drink milk rick i didn't Do you drink milk? I, I I do when I'm when I'm eating it with this stuff. Oh wow, ah. donuts! Interesting. Yeah, nice. yeah I, I wouldn't have expected you to pull that out. You seem too fit to have donuts, but <laughs> that's it. a special thing because I, I, that's a special thing I eat with my daughter Alexis when when we have sleepovers. Ah, makes sense. Okay. Uh, So okay, uh, Karthik K N ninety nine says um, thanks a lot for your super chat. Says just another Indian guy in California who's a big fan of OSR. At the rate of a month, good to have the series back. Question for Rick and uh, Corbin: When is the Big B interview? <laughs> I wish I knew. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the day like, the legend is... condescends to be on the channel. Yeah. Oh, we would love to have him. Um, the uh it's it's quite funny because like a lot of people were like hey why why don't you interview who just in, insert a name like i yeah. have them in my 
like I have them in my contact list. Yeah. Like exactly. <laughs> like the one or right like now. We is haven't like, had people trying. Yeah. Like uh like the big one right now is people expecting a Ranveer interview. And I would love to expect a Ranveer interview. Sadly, I don't know the man. Uh and he's very difficult to get in contact with. Yeah. So you uh, know he's watching. No, I, yeah, whenever whenever Big B uh, agrees or knows that we exist, we will be incredibly happy. <laughs> this, listen, this is like, so MS Dhoni is like arguably India's third most fam- fam- uh, famous cricketer. And he yeah. doesn't do interviews. He's, he doesn't like doing interviews. And I'll still get somebody constantly saying, hey man, when is the MS Dhoni interview? I'm like, dude, you think? <laughs> There's no chance. <laughs> it's never going to happen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Third most popular? I know Sachin. Who's the other one? Sachin Virat Dhoni probably like comparable to each other. Sachin, like over the wait, last so, Sachin, Sachin Tendulkar, who? Sachin Tendulkar. Yeah, no, and I know Virat Sachin. Vi- oh, Virat. Okay, sorry. Virat Kohli. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah I was wondering who the other one was. I know, I know. Yeah. I've seen, we okay. saw, we've seen them twice now. Uh, we went to Florida to watch a cricket game, and then we mm-hmm. saw we saw the the Legends game last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with with Sachin there as well and that was that was incredibly fun that was awesome yeah the, the any any match with the with indians in the crowd is always like a like an insane experience it's uh yeah i i saw ipl match which is the indian premier league the cricket match it was happening in hyderabad and so it was hyderabad versus i think mumbai and the crowd uh-huh. was just cheering the ball coming into the crowd irrespective of who <laughs> hit it so after <laughs> one, i'm like are you guys watching the match <laughs> you have a team you're rooting for <laughs> yeah that's funny. Forgot, yeah. That's great. Uh, uh, Vinayak says, from one Taklia to the other, love the session, love to Rick and Corbin too. Thanks a lot. Really nice of you. Cuckoo Chico has given 100 rupees to say Meryl Streep anytime. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, I agree says, with I, you. Yeah. Really? Uh, Meryl, Meryl Streep. Oh, no. oh, sorry. I, I was talking about this next one. Vethi's Jepa says, I think she forgot Charlie's Theron. I don't think Charlie's Theron is on the same league as Meryl Streep and of course... Kangana now. No, I mean she's a good actress. No, I, there's yeah. there's very few who are on Meryl Streep's level. The one I can think of right now might be Viola Davis, uh, <laughs> but like there's like the, the, I can't really think of too many. I mean, you can think of legends like Dame Judi Dench or like Maggie Smith <laughs> or Hepburn. something. Yeah, some people like that, but there's like like. Uh, five other people that you could maybe have a conversation with that, but she's one of the arguably male or female, one of the Correct. greatest actors of all time. All time. Uh, I just want to put this out on behalf of both Rick and Corbin. I think both of you are better actors than Denzel Washington and Amitabh. I agree. I think I we totally should agree. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree with you. <laughs> I, do not, I do not agree. <laughs> okay, uh, Shreyas Joshi asks ask them if they like the Trump song. You, know, you guys, you, you guys watched the Trump song that we did ages ago. Oh, we loved yeah, it. See, of course, yeah, yeah. we loved, loved it. it. Yeah, it oh, fun. it was fantastic. We we yeah. haven't got the gall to watch the Modi one yet. We're just not ready for all that. Uh, <laughs> but no, watch uh, it because eventually you'll have to be taken off the channel. So watch it now. <laughs> Better get to it now. Yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, but we loved we've we've loved anything EIC has put out. Y'all like they yeah. have been fantastic. Oh, Agreed. thanks, man. I mean, I've I've left the company, but it was fun. I, that was one of the last yeah. things we did actually. I think the Trump and the Modi song was the last things we did together. I think it was like mm. one of them. Um, yeah. I mean, I was I, I think I, my contribution to that was I think probably just a, a line here or there. I think most of it was to credit to all those guys. Um, yeah. Rana Khan says, "Enjoy the chat, guys." Hey, Rick, any plans of exploring Indian theater? Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, obviously, by reason of my relationship with Indrani, I've been made aware of the history of not in depth, but been introduced to theater in, in West Bengal. And I've heard, love the conversations we've heard from people who've worked in theater, like Nisaruddin Shah and uh, Irfan and uh Manoj Bajpayee and the list goes on and on of the actors who've done stage and screen and yeah I mean I I love theater so I very much would like to find out a lot more about and I would love to go support I've, I've known about some local small theater groups that I've been happy to hear they're doing things but I would love to see some of the theater in India yes 
Yeah, if you ever pop in, I mean, it's actually a very. <clears throat> I saw Nasiruddin Shah twice on stage, and one was at this place yeah. called Prithvi, which is a a, a a small 150 seater, and you're just here, and he's literally yeah, like that's here. gorgeous. And oh. you're like, oh, this is beautiful. What a that's Prithvi. fantastic. Uh, it was him and Rajit Kapoor, not Rajat Kapoor again, a phenomenal mm-hmm. actor as well. Okay, this is the last question, and then uh, I know that Corbin and Rick have got to bounce. Uh, kids work and other things. Harsha Ethal says Corbin and Rick and Sora big fan. By the way, Rick and Corbin, Corbin watch uh, Rangita Ranga, uh, Kannada uh, collab with Jabby. <laughs> what was the What was the film? Uh, Rangita Ranga. Rang- I don't know that one. Do you know what? Maybe do you know I'm what that film is? I don't. I don't know that film. Uh, the stupid family might be watching. You guys can uh, let us know. No, and we know Jabby. Jabby is the biggest Indian reaction uh, channel uh, yeah. on YouTube. Uh, he's, he's a wonderful, wonderful guy. We've, we, we know him very well. We've actually been doing collabs with a bunch of, uh, well, not a bunch. We did one with a smaller YouTuber who we love. His name is Jimmy Cage. He's a fantastic yes. Indian reviewer. Uh, he only has about 30,000, uh, subscribers, but he's, he's just he's, brutally he's really, underrepresented. Yeah. He's really passionate about, uh, good cinema. And so we like him a lot. Uh, love Jabby. We, we think he's wonderful. He's a very busy, we've, we've talked to him a bunch of times, but yeah. Uh, who knows? Something might happen at, at some point, but no, there's no plans right now. Uh, and also, I mean, Javi had a completely different, uh, different. Sorry, I was, I was just seeing who Jimmy Cage was and his music started playing. Uh, Javi had a completely different experience with the, uh, uh, with talking about uh, Zakir Hussain. So, <laughs> yes, he did. That. Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We saw that. That was, uh, that. That was funny. Uh, guys, it's been a real pleasure, man. Thanks a lot for your time. I really appreciate it. Um, again, I, I will say this on behalf of you guys. Uh, go check out our stupid reactions. I, I enjoyed the interview. I, I watched the interview with uh, Pankaj Tripathi. That was nice. And the one mm-hmm. with uh, Abhishek Banerjee, right? That's his name? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I love Abhishek. And um, quite a, quite a, uh, I, I enjoyed some of the interviews. And Jaydeep Palavat as well. Uh, I saw all of those. And uh, yeah. yeah, keep watching. Anything you guys would like to plug? Anything that's coming up? Quite a few people watching right now. Um. Uh, nothing specifically outside of uh, we should be hitting a million here soon. So we might have something for that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. so go. I'll put the link for our stupid reactions in the in the description and the pinned comments. So go out there and get them to a million guys uh, so that they can release the video. And uh, yeah. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Just do it. Force them. Yeah. Make it happen. Just give us, give us a few more days. <laughs> do it right now. Put them under pressure. Do it, friends. Come on. Do it now. Uh, Rick, uh, Corbin, thanks a lot for your time. Really nice of you guys. I'm, I know it's very Thank late you. and I really appreciate you guys staying up so late for this nonsense. Uh, of very course. kind of you, friends. Uh, of course. Thank you so much. You guys can switch over your video. I'll just say goodbyes and all that kind of stuff. Okay. All right. Thanks, Thank man. you. Bye. Bye. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you for everybody tuning in. Just a couple of things to announce. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. Coming up on Thursday, I have Gautam Bimani, who's a, a cricket commentator, just one of the most fun people out there. I think Angad should join me as well. And I have a feeling maybe KV. KV and me are going to do a history sh- uh, show at some stage in the next week or so where uh, me and uh, him and two other comedians are just going to talk about Indian history for about seven hours. Uh, shows coming up, as I said, uh, 18th, which is this Thursday. There's a show in Mumbai uh, at uh, IBC, which is the Independence Brewing company. Uh, tickets are on Book My Show. Also have a show coming up in Pune on Saturday. Two shows are there. Uh, tickets are going very fast. So Nali Thakkar is also going to be there with me. Um, so tickets for that are on saurabhpanth.com. Mumbai is on 27th, which is next to next Saturday, which is Angad Singh Ranyal, Ronak Rajani, uh, Sonali Thakkar, all of us together in it. Tickets are way cheaper than normal tickets because we're doing two recordings for YouTube. Uh, so please come for those shows as well. And Hyderabad, we've just locked right now, which is happening on 4th of April. Um, so tickets for all of that are happening on saurabhpanth.com. And once again, please subscribe to the other channel because uh, as I said, we are going to be shifting a lot of uh, uh, these uh, live uh, sort of videos uh, to that channel. So just subscribe to it uh, so I can start doing that because this channel, I'm going to start releasing a lot of stand up over the next, uh, probably starting from the next two weeks. Uh, Balu2704, thanks a lot for your last super chat, man. Really nice of you. And uh, all my mods, once again, thanks a lot to all my... Are Adhiban Bhaskaran is here as well. Are, uh, are, are, are Adhiban, the beast is here. I didn't see you only. Uh, thanks a lot to Dhanush. Thanks to Sharanya. Thanks to Raghav. Thanks to everybody who tuned in. Really nice of you guys, man. Uh, come see live stand-up. It's going to be fun. I mean, um, uh, right now it's on. It might get stopped soon. So enjoy it uh, for the next month at least. 
and uh, take care of yourselves thanks a lot once again to our stupid reactions for coming out uh, and once again big thanks to rajat shah and kostum bhalera for that um, bottle of whiskey that i have to definitely drink at some stage in life and uh, yeah keep tuning in subscribe to the channel thanks for all the likes uh, you guys are really nice love you all marry me goodbye take care see you later